Hello everyone and welcome to our 30 day growth challenge. My name is Michael and I have the opportunity of covering James chapter three verses 16 through 18 with you. Uh, before we go into these verses, let's, let's just pray really fast. Father, I thank you so much uh, just for this opportunity. And I pray, Father, that as we read your word, that you would give us insight, even like we're talking about wisdom, wisdom that we can apply practically to our life today. We love you and we thank you. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray, amen. So as we go into the scripture here, I want to read a little of uh, chapter 15 before I go into 16, 17, and 18 to, to, to just kind of keep the context. But if I was to title this, I, we're going to be talking about demonic wisdom and wisdom from heaven or godly wisdom. There's both. The word wisdom, what it means is it, it actually means skill, higher or lower worldly or spiritual wisdom. So mind you, when we're talking about wisdom, we've always thought that wisdom, it just comes from God. Well, yes, it comes from God, but there's also a worldly wisdom. And we're going to study the scripture today and we're going to see a little bit what worldly or demonic wisdom is. And we're going to see what heavenly or godly wisdom is. So let's let's start from uh, just for context, start from verse 15 and we'll go down. In verse 15, it says this, for, for jealousy and selfishness are not God's kind of wisdom. Such things are earthly, that's what we're talking about, unspiritual and demonic. Wow. Verse 16, it says this, for wherever there is jealousy and selfish ambition, there you will find disorder and evil of every kind. There we go. We're talking about demonic wisdom. And the scripture is saying that where there's jealousy, selfish ambition, this word, this word jealousy, what it means is zelos and is to have warm or warmth of feelings for or against for or against, to be zealous or jealous. This is where we're getting into the usage of it. Eagerness, zeal, enthusiasm. But this is the context of this word in this scripture. It's jealous rivalry. So it's actually, remember, it means a warm feeling for or against something that you could be jealous and actually have a rivalry in you be against something or someone. That's what we're talking about. So the scripture is saying where there's jealousy and selfish ambition, this word selfish ambition, it's rivalry again. That's interesting. Competition, it's feuding, discord, dissension, conflict, strife, struggle. So the scripture is saying where there is jealousy and selfish ambition, all these things, you're going to have disorder and you're going to have every kind of evil. This is demonic wisdom. If we're doing these things, the result that we are going to get, it's going to cause disorder, a state of disorder, disruption, confusion, instability. I remember there was a time when and, and I think this happens in a lot of marriages, they say within the five, the first five years of marriage. But I remember there was a lot of conflict, a lot of feuding in the first few years of my marriage. And I tell you, I had to come to the realization that I had some selfish ambition there. I wanted to do things my way. I had some conflict going on uh, with agreement. And that's, that's the other thing. All these qualities, if you notice, they're the opposite of unity. They don't cause unity. They actually cause, cause, and that's one of the words in selfish ambition, discord, right? So, uh, just practical application. If you see these things happening, you might want to really look at and, and, and ask yourself, am I operating in earthly wisdom? 
Am I operating in demonic wisdom? Kind of we, we have to really examine our lives, right? And our marriage. But verse 17, this is where it gets good. It gets better. I didn't like start. This started out real weighty. Whoa. <laughs> but verse 17, it says, but the wisdom, the skill from above is first of all pure. It is also peace loving, gentle at all times and willing to yield to, to others. It is full of mercy and full of good deeds. It shows no favoritism and is always sincere. So I love this. Let's now let's break, let's break this down. This wisdom from above down. We talked about demonic wisdom, which had to do with jealousy, selfish ambitions. But now let's talk about this wisdom that is from above. The scripture says it is pure. Well, that word pure, it means holy, sacred, pure from cornality. It says that it's peace loving. That word, I love that word because it means peaceful. We know that. But it also, it, it means uh, bring peace with it. So so I'm coming into uh, a scenario with peace. In a conversation, I'm bringing peace into that conversation. I'm bringing peace with it. But it says gentle at all times. Did it say at all times? At all times. Gentle at all times. And willing to yield to others. This word gentle, it means seemingly or conforming, yielding. It also means willing to obey I, I love this definition and this is something that I thought about. But whenever you have a conversation, specifically what I call it, uh, intense fellowship, this is what you want to do. You want to always look for a reason to agree. Sometimes and specifically, I really felt led to, to speak about marriage. It seems like we get into this whole thing of trying to prove our point. I want to prove my point. I want to prove my point. And there's no one looking for a reason, an opportunity to agree. This is what this word gentle is talking about. It's yielding. It's looking for an opportunity to agree, looking for an opportunity to, to conform and come together, make unity and full of mercy. This word mercy, it means kindness, compassion, and fruit of good deeds. And we know what that means. When the, when the scripture is talking about fruit, it's just talking about our deeds. And, and the fruit is just talking about characteristics. You, we, we know the scripture talks about the fruit of the spirit, love, patience, kindness. But, but it's, it's, it, we, we have this wisdom that we operate in from, from above it has fruit of good deeds. So it says, also, it shows no favoritism. Shows no favoritism. To be sincere. The NOT version says to be sincere. Always sincere. It, it means genuine, real, honest. Keeping it real. That's how we say it in, in, in San Bernardino, right? Keeping it real, right? But let's read on to verse, verse 18. And it says, and those who are peacemakers, I believe that's one of the huge topics here. That when we're walking in the wisdom of God, wisdom from above, this is what it equates to. We are peacemakers. Verse 18, it says, and those who are peacemakers will plant seeds of peace. Wow. So when we're peacemakers, we're, we're going around everywhere we go. Remember in the, in the prior scripture, it says, I bring, it meant bringing peace to it, peaceful. We're planting seeds of peace everywhere we go. And this is what is, what is going to happen. It's going to reap a harvest of righteousness. And in conclusion, how do we know that we are walking in wisdom from above or heavenly wisdom? We are peacemakers. In the scripture, it says, 
in Matthew 5 and 9, it says this, Blessed are those who work for peace, for they will be called the children of God. Well, I hope this lesson has blessed you. If it has, leave a comment. Be sure to like and subscribe. Also, let get somebody else in on this growth challenge. You know, let them know, hey, we got this growth challenge. Send them the link. You can share this and they can just jump in. Tomorrow we're going to go we're going to go into the book of James chapter 4 and you're going to really enjoy that. So, join us for tomorrow as we continue our journey, our growth challenge. God bless you.